when they're laying down during daytime. It's kind of odd. Can we make another bed actually? We can. Can we upgrade it? We can. Yeah, let's upgrade it. One second. What's that? It's in the bakery yesterday that got what he deserved. You did well. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's actually exactly what we needed. So much better than stealing. <laughs> oh my. Can we make the therm? All right. Wait, where's the thermostat beam? I thought it was right here. Need more parts to make this small trap. Um, uh, let's make heat up this place. And I guess we'll make the one more bed. Where to put it though? Where to put it? I guess right there? Oh, we can't put it in here, can we? No. Not right there. Not right there. Nope. Nope. Right here. Right. Okay, right here it is. Alright, he's gotta get up. Hostel's open. Uh, let's have a rest for a second. We'll have her rest until he's done. New transmission captured. Oh, shoot. Uh, Outpost Delta 2 here. Sir, we've lost our informer at the bakery. Those rogue broadcasters exposed him. I suggest we locate them and end their meddling. Over. Someone is trapped in a collapsed basement at the toy store. So people I needed to... Somebody help him, please. Please help him. Okay, good. Hopefully. Alright, you go rest and 
URS. We'll see if we can work on that soon. So I saw some of the mods that they have. Apparently you can freeze time and do everything you need to do. And I'm sure there's tons of other stuff. Let me see actually. They have unlimited health, freeze nighttime, freeze day, add an hour, sub subtract an hour, uh, more backpack slots, instant crafting, crafting doesn't consume materials, uh, unlimited durability, and easy kills. <laughs> A lot of uh, cool stuff, I think. All right, let's just end for the day. I really don't want to go back there. Some food, lots of weapons. Let's go to the music club. If there's anything new here, I guess. Oh, hello. Anybody got any information? No. I guess let's just run to the exit. Shoot, I should have stayed in for the night. I could have finished the repairs for the area. There really wasn't anything to go get out or get. Day 12. I was calm, that's good. She's very tired and very hungry. He's very hungry too. Nice, two meals. I will fight to the last breath. Nope, that's all you're getting, sir. Go have a meal. I think it's the combo of very tired and very hungry that's hurting her. Need to tell you something. Uh, shoot. Okay, okay.
whatever will be given out at the brewery. Please announce it on there so people come to know. Make sure. I just need to go there and make sure. Okay. And inform that the upcoming days at the old brewery water will be handed out to those in need. Make sure you bring your own containers. Should we wait and verify it? What if it's a trap? Alright, whatever. If it is, <laughs> it's too late. have a rest Yay. brewery yeah let's go there lock pick oh god so many dead oh no it was a trap Run for your life. Hey, wait. Oh, no. My friend, it's really, it happened so sudden. What happened? Go save yourself, I need to take care of him. Oh, Jesus Christ. Please don't die. It's, it's horrible. So many dead wounded, it must have been some kind of explosion. I was gonna die in my arms. I don't know how. Please, he's dying. Please help that man out there. He's still alive. Should so many people in need, I'll try. Body parts scattered all over the place. I think I'm gonna throw up there. Robo's here taking pictures of everything. It's like a nightmare. People were waiting for water when the shells hit. The military is full of nothing but cold blooded murders. The whole world needs to learn about this crime. Damn. hurts when I try to move I hope they won't fire again what happened here I don't know I was waiting in line for water there was a blast I was smashed against the wall and I regained consciousness covered in blood and everything around me was on fire those bastards from the army must have used mortars against us to them civilians are just as good as targets as rebels it is pretty messed up
be okay. Thank you. Shells fell on us while we were waiting for water. Wait, you're, aren't you? Advise you to keep quiet about what happened here. Why? The world should hear about these. Your radio broadcasts do not go unnoticed by the military and they're getting angry. If you don't stop, they may decide to stop you themselves. Be reasonable. Thanks for the warning. Another horribly mutilated by obviously result of the shelling. The world should hear about the... Soldiers bound to seek vengeance. Yeah, but we gotta tell somebody. Just can't not say anything. That's our job. We report. We tell people. We do the good thing. We do the right thing. Now they're up this. And there's a lot here. Pick. Uh, okay, let, let me run back down here and pick up that one part that I didn't pick up from the first place. And then we'll go. I think it's this one. Yeah. Is. All right, on the exit. There's a terrible ma massacre in the old brewery. Many people died. Uh, many people waiting for water were killed by mortar shells. The government forces have committed yet another war crime, but spreading this information might put us in grave danger. All these war crimes can't go unpunished. We must demand an intervention from the international community. There must be retribution. I'll tell Malak the truth. The military knows about Ma Malak's radio. He may be in danger if he spreads the news of this crime. I'll tell him this was an accident that the rebels used for propaganda. Nope. We are telling the truth. Esma is back. <laughs> he says that every morning. have to tell you something. have her sleep and then I'll see if I can finish that my dog's laying on her back it looks crazy. Oh, she moved. Oh, 
Army has committed yet another war crime. People were shelled while waiting for the water at the old brewery. Once again, appeal to the international community for an intervention and end the hostilities. Trust that these will take for the world to react. Bless you. Military must answer for the crimes when all this is over. Punishing them will not undo the harm they cause, but we will have justice. Justice for all. I would never forget the faces of the dead I saw in the brewery. The world must inform of the things these soldiers do to civilians. Now she's no longer tired. I wonder if you can have a regular house with these people. Like a regular community. That would be kind of cool. keeps coming back to what I saw. Please, honey, don't torture yourself. The soldiers fought the shells. How can they look in the mirror? They're terrorists. So many innocent people died. Yes, honey, but please let it go. They will pay for it. Yeah. They will. They will pay. Uh, I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick, but I'm not gonna pause it because they're resting and they're not really doing anything. I think. Yeah. So I'm just gonna run to the bathroom really quickly. I don't know, part of me wants to pause it too. Just in case. Uh... Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Oh no, we're just, uh, I don't know how close it'll be. I forget, is it 7 p.m. or? Oh, we should be able to finish it then. Nice, finally, oh my gosh. That honestly took way too long. Mm -hmm. 
the night. Ooh. I. Uh, as the people fled before the battle is over now, and there should be many things left to scavenge since people are leaving in a rush. That's new, right? There's, uh, we visited the rest of them except for that warehouse. So, yeah, we'll go there. Lockpick. Never a good thing if you can hide. Pick some papers by some soldiers. They must have moved out here in a hurry. Our pile. We have several more trails to check regarding those. Red. We're getting closer. Shutting them down is a matter of time. And they're really after us. I need to talk to Mal about this immediately. Documents and letters. Seems like nobody's here though. I haven't heard any noises. Should probably I feel like wood is more important at this rate. We have so many components anyways. Found shelter I'm on the homeless. I'm no longer a teacher or an artist. I am one of them now. There's too much food. I seek refuge. Oh, it's a painting by the person that probably previously lived here. <gasps> Some food. Actually, I don't think we need the water. Rather take the wood. Let's open up this. Broken guitar. Eh, keep picking water up. Alright, let's run to the exit. Isma is back. Loading. Loading. And that's all for tonight. Get back to you with news soon. For now, I leave you with hope for a better tomorrow. Good night, Pokoran. It's the military, I think. Yeah, it is.
Damn. Day 14. Now like what happened here? No please. Alec is dead. They came in at night and shot him in cold blood. Depressed, very hungry, and very tired. Damn. Numerous bruises indicate he was brutally beaten. We knew it was going to happen eventually. We knew that they would come for us. Rain some Alex Journal. Remember Esmo's birthday next week. Tell Franco beforehand to try to get flowers. Oh my dear. So what's gonna happen now? I wonder. Do we just try to survive? Here comes somebody. You have to run, Mom. What? It's dead, right? He, they killed him. Too late. They came in the night and shot him. There's order when I heard the army is coming after you. I wanted to warn you. I'm so sorry. Will you let me in? Come and say goodbye to your father. Bye. It's good to see your face again. And now you're alive, but I need more time. In the meantime, we should work together. I wish your father could hear this. Now all we need to do is is help me bury him. The amount of lives the two of them save, though, is literally, like... Stay here with your father's body. I'll find the priest and ask him about the burial. Where's the... Oh, they put it inside that thing, I guess. I guess we don't really need it. 
You to arrange a funeral. Oh my dear, so the rumors were true. I'm sorry. Mustn't blame yourself. You brought the hope into the tears of so many people. Some of them in my church now. Talk to him, please. I can't. It's hard now that he's gone. You need time to heal. If you want to leave it all behind, there's a boat leaving Porgon from Pier 9. You're in a place on it with everything you did for the people in the city. Thank you. I'll have to think about it. And don't worry about the funeral. I'll take care of everything. Just do me a favor and stay with us for a while. Talk to the people. Wait, why does it want me to check this so bad? Is there something in here? Okay. <laughs> Please accept. After my wife passed away, Malik's voice kept me company during my long, lonely nights. Yo, it up, Soldier Pat. I don't know what I would do without it. I'm sorry, but it's too difficult for me to talk about it right now. I understand very well I've been through that. I just hope someone will continue his work. Malak is gone and so is his radio. Nobody can replace him. The radio wasn't only Malak. I'll leave you with that thought. Be well, Esma. I should tell my son what I arranged with the priest. Such a tragedy. First Gustavo, now Malak. Gustavo from the music club? What happened? Those army bastards, they learned there was plenty of radio equipment at the music club. They trashed the place to make sure we keep our mouths shut. They killed Gustavo when he tried to, fuck, uh, to stop them fucking monsters. Esma, right? You and your husband run Porgon Glass. We did. My husband, Malik, he's gone. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. This war is taking best people away. I don't care anymore. I've already lost everything. Please don't say that. There's always something or someone worth living for. My son, I didn't even tell him what a relief it was to see him again. You see, there's always a light. Be, be well, Asma. <laughs> That's why I never had a chance to thank Malik, and now I never will. But at least I can thank you. Nothing to thank me. You and your husband saved our daughter. She was very ill, and we heard Malik talking about the medical drop. And now he's gone. But you are not. The war is still going on, and many people are going to need help. You should carry on his work. Thank you for your kind words, but my family has already suffered too much already. There he is. What's going on, Pat? It sounds like uh, I will be seeing you tomorrow. Possibly. If you're going. He said he'll take care of everything. Some people stop by to talk to me. I'm grateful for Father's help. So many people will miss. Nice, I am too. But all the gratitude won't help him. His death will be then. He continue his work. It's helped so many. Or maybe we should leave the city before it kills us. There's a boat leaving from Pier 9, we can board it. I don't want to run away again. For once, I want to do what's right. What would Father want us to do? It's right, Adam. We'll talk about it later. His mom's back. Um, yeah, so I don't know if I'm going to the Overwatch event, but it, did Eric tell you about the other thing before? I don't know. I'm going to figure it out with Rachel. Later, but... He froze the death. What? What? Oh my God. Bro, I couldn't even do anything. That's so dumb. They weren't even out that night. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? Because I left the place? That's such a joke, dude. Oh my god. I can't believe that just happened. That's not supposed to happen. I don't want to watch this again. This is sad. He told me after he brought the freaking ticket. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I'm at least going to the auto show. I don't know about the other thing. Really, dude, I don't want to got this. I don't want to watch this entire thing again. I got tricked. Eh, you got good tricked. Uh. 
Oh my god. Really? So Pat, let me tell you what just happened right here. So this happens. These are a bunch of the military people. They know that this guy running the radio station has been... Ugh. I can't believe this happened. Actually though, that's so stupid. As you can see. So that happens, right? He dies. We come back from our thing, found him dead. She's very hungry and very tired. I go make some food for her. It's also freezing in this room. So because it's freezing in this room here, as you can see, negative three uh, Fahrenheit, that's very bad. But as we're making food and we eat it, somebody goes to the door. We go to answer the door. It's their son. The son takes us to, we go to bury him um, and stuff. But then they're like, I don't know, we need to decide what we're gonna do. Because I didn't put up the fire in this place, when they came back, they froze to death. The one, his, their son froze to death and after he froze to death, she killed herself. <laughs> oh my god. We weren't even at the place, though. So now I'm about to make a ton of these. Just to... Ah, uh, to turn up the heat in this place. So he doesn't accidentally freeze to death, even though we weren't even in this place to begin with. If that was so dumb. <sighs> He's gonna walk up any minute now. Pat, we should play Wolfenstein Youngblood. Not tonight, but soon. Alright, load this thing up. Load it up. Load it up. All the way. All the way. Hell nah. Bro, it's, it's free. Game was terrible. It's free. Well, it's not free, but it's Game Pass. Part of it. Someone's at the door. Hold up. Hold on. I gotta have myself eat something. We should be fine at 10, 10 Celsius. Possibly, yeah, sure. Actually, it's on Game Pass. Yeah, that's what I mean. I wouldn't say otherwise. We had to pay for it. Well, you do get like a pass and stuff if you get it. Um, but yeah. It's, it's part of Game Pass. Otherwise, I wouldn't suggest it. And I know you have Game Pass. There's also multiple games on Game Pass that I would like to play if it's co-op. All right, we should be good. Let's try this now. Yeah. 
had him killed. No, I'm too late. Blah, 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 blah. He was part of the military too, but he came back home to, uh, to warn them because he heard that they were going after them and he knew it's real bad. I don't know how long I can bear it. I don't think it's that bad. I mean, I don't think it's great. I think the game is more of like, it's not worth $60 or what, or whatever the full price is, but I'm sure it's at least like a little bit fun, you know? Apparently it makes it really weird though, because the game has, um, it has, uh, enemy levels and stuff like Archie, Arp, RTG, RPG elements. In a Wolfenstein game. Like what? Gotta head off. Good luck for the rest of the stream. Alright. Sounds good, Pat. No worries. No worries. I will most, uh, most likely see you tomorrow anyways. So. I'll see you uh, later, my duty. Thank you. All right, see you tomorrow. Peace out, Soldier Pat. Appreciate the love, mate. I swear to God, if he freezes to death this time. Alright, we can best speed these conversations here. I can't believe that we I I literally cannot believe that that happened. Like how? Please. I'm so nervous. Okay. Oh god, they both made it home safe. Depressed and exhausted. They're protecting me even if the lie to is necessary. Deserted as soon as I learned the military, but it was still already too late. This has lost so much blood. Why has he lost so much blood? Go bandage yourself up. needs to rest. It's stuck with everyone's at the, someone's at the door. Oh wait.
trying to talk her out of it. find a way to repair the radio we could carry on dad's work I want to fight back transmitter is broken does she know I have to look for radio parts Bob thinks we should leave everything and escape the city by boat. I know she's broken now, but we should find the transmitter parts and repair our radio. We should continue Dad's work. <laughs> At least we've got some cigarettes. Where would the transmitter parts be? Um... So let's check this over here. Oh boy, it's uh, it's very cold in here too. see if I can find a guide. Transmitter parts. Uh, okay, I see, I see. Okay, I see. Uh, or we can let him rest up. Oh wait, whoops, I meant to stock this up. Wouldn't be good if I forgot about that. music pull let's go there wait is it her oh depressed tired hungry wounded let him sleep yeah yeah we'll take her Someone's constantly at the door. Soldiers stormed in and started shooting everybody, then they smashed their radio equipment. Uh... 
They're all dead now because of you. Please help me at least. I'm badly wounded. How am I supposed to help you, my guy? What do you want? I need bandages. I... Transmitter parts. And we can use these parts to repair the radio. They want to frighten us. I don't have any uh, stuff for him. Is back. A sixteen. We've been raided. Oh, God. We have like no food too. We literally have no food. Severely wounded, recovering. We should have just ran. <laughs> Let's see if this works though. We're not going to make it another day to help me with this. Okay. I should be able to repair the radio in our workshop. Let's, uh, for being wounded, he's, uh, doing fine. Why was he wounded in the first place? That's what I'm wondering. He was literally doing fine. Any news? Good to know. Uh, yeah, we're gonna need that food. And... Yeah, vegetables. All right, so I will give you like shotgun shells. And that. <laughs> Actually, I think I'll hold on to that. How about a mixer? Deal. Why is he all of a sudden? Oh. Yes, I saw him. He kind of looks like, I mean, in the, from like this angle, he looks like Adam Driver, but uh, <laughs> in the picture, he doesn't. I think it's kind of funny. Radio. We need one more piece of wood. Alright, come here, you. Oh, shoot. Not you. 
and you go back to sleep. Bro, please tell me you have one piece of wood. If not, we should be able to get some from the other side. Actually. <laughs> I can't believe we only need one more piece of wood. to the other side then. Please, there's gotta be some here. Just one. Oh, thank you. Rip that open. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that didn't save any time. Fix transmitter. We're doing it. We're gonna do it. Almost there. Almost there. Just about. We did it. This is Aiden, Alex's son. I'm broadcasting again after the soldiers murdered my father. He was brutally killed for sharing the truth with you. But his voice will not be silenced. We will carry on his work. To say what needs to be said. Because we are your voice. The voice, Pagoran. <laughs> I love how it said nothing like a good sleep. You decided to continue Malik's mission. Shortly afterward, the war ends. Another fantastic DLC. Wow. That's really good, and those eyes are slightly terrifying. War, it never changes. Before the war, we used to play jazz music and thematic broadcasts. The outbreak put the war to the end. Uh, the war put an end to all that, and our radio started serving much more important purpose. After the war, Adam was pardoned of his desertion from the army. He stayed in Pogorin to look after Esma and aid her in running the radio. He was greatly pained by the fact that he failed to give, reconcile with his father and return too late to save him. Only he could turn back time. Malik's death broke Esma's heart. But she found some degree in solace in continuing his work with the help of her son. When the war finally ended, her radio station remained popular because many people remembered how many help it had been during the siege. The army, enraged by Malik's broadcasts about their war crimes, sent a death squad to his door. He was similar, summarily <coughs> executed for conclusion with the rebels, but would be remembered by the people of Porgon. Pagoran as someone who always brought them hope and fought for the truth. Bada bing, bada boom. Ladies and gentlemen, 
There. We have it. All except fading embers. It is currently 6.30, so I only have about 30 minutes left. Um, I think I'm actually going to end the stream 